Hello, I am going to give you a presentation how to calculate project's uh, net present value in Excel. How can we do that? For example, you want to realize an investment project uh, considering the implementation of uh, project A uh, or project B. We should choose between these uh, two uh, projects. Project can be evaluated by using either present or future value methods. Which project is better in terms of net present value? First of all, I briefly explain the essence of net present value. Net present value, uh, NPV, or net present worth, is a fundamental tool in a discounted cash flow analysis. NPV is a standard method for using the time value of money to evaluate long-term projects. Time value of money means that some money has a different value. It's uh, buying power, today and in the future. We want to find answer to the question, how much is a project worth today and in the future? NPV is uh, calculated as the sum of uh, project's cash inflows and outflows. NPV concerns concern all of the um, net time series of uh, cash flows that the investment will generate it, generate over project's life. We can discount these values from the future to now. Discount rate uh, consistent with project risk. We can easily calculate this in Excel. We know that NPV uh, focuses on uh, cash flows and time value of money. Time series of uh, cash flows associated with two projects are given in bottom table. The cash flow uh, in each uh, period uh, may be uh, positive or negative. Usually a project has uh, negative initial uh, cash uh, flow. Cash flow uh, for uh, periods zero uh, concern uh, value of money at the start of project's life. In the start of a project we have uh, to pay uh, for our investment. Future value is cash will be received at a given future date. Both projects are measured at the same point in time. In this example, all subsequent cash flow are positive. All are positive. A project is okay when NPV is greater than zero. It means that present value of future cash inflows exceeds the initial cash flow of project. In Excel, we can easily calculate uh, which product is better. Let's do it. Uh, to calculate NPV, we need the real uh, discount rate. We want to distinguish between nominal and uh, real, uh, real discount rates. Uh, so, um, uh, we can assume some uh, inflationary expectation. Um, for example, um, for example, uh, 2,5%. Uh, uh, in um, one uh, cell um, is the uh, nominal interest rate before adjustment for inflation. For example, is 6%. Uh, in second cell is real uh, interest rate. Uh, it is the nominal uh, rate of the interest uh, minus in, in, in inflation. Uh, for formula is uh, as follows uh, equals uh, double opening round brackets uh, one plus um, nominal uh, rate uh, round bracket divided by um, Bracket one plus uh, inflation double close brackets minus one. And we can count the number of uh, opening uh, round brackets and the number of close brackets. Uh, the number of opening uh, brackets uh, should be equal to the number of closed brackets. Uh, nominal and uh, real uh, rates are equal when inflation is zero.
And when inflation is zero, nominal and real uh, discount rate is 6%. Now we, we mm, type uh, period uh, numbers uh, from zero. From zero to five, and we type NPV. In a spreadsheet cell, we write uh, equals, okay, and NPV. We can see helping information. Uh, it is a very simple uh, formula. Mm real rate and uh, formula should not include the cash flow zero from one to five only Uh, we can accept this formula, but um, uh, net present value of project is the sum of cash flow and cash flow for period zero. zero. Uh, we can uh, simply add initial cost of uh, project to, an, to this PV uh, uh, function. Okay. Uh, 2.2 positive NPV. It is okay. Um, it's easy to copy a formula down uh, a column uh, before we need to change uh, um, relative um, reference to ab absolute reference by using um, dollar uh, symbols or um, uh, F4 function key. Uh, for f for function key okay uh, net present value of uh, project uh, a is positive and npv of project b is negative what does this mean Project A requires more financial financial investment in period zero. zero. However, uh, profits of this project is bigger than in case of project B. So, project A with a positive NPV is the best choice. Thank you.